All right, well, I got a new appointment for CD Strong Roofing uh, earlier today at an apartment complex in St. Anne. I sent an email to the facilities manager and he was actually just about to email me when he called me back. Uh, I just barely missed him, called him back right away. He explains that they are looking for full TPO re-roofs on two of the buildings within the complex. Uh, additionally, they're looking for a quote on a gutter repair. Uh, the downspout is coming loose. And uh, these roofs were last replaced over 10 years ago. They have done some uh, patchwork here and there over the years. Uh, they have had a couple of leaks recently, and it's time to get TPO re-roofs all over the complex. Yeah, so got one this morning for my you client. Know, uh, I spoke with the property manager at an apartment complex. We're actually going to meet with a uh, different complex that the property manager company owns next week on Tuesday. Uh, this one has 11 buildings. It's shingled roofs, around 40,000 square foot total. They're in the direct path also of where the hail was uh, from the last appointment I said. So, um, yeah, we're going to go out there and give a quote for the damages. They said they have a roofer coming out today, actually. So they also wanted a quote from us since we're quoting their other building. So should be a pretty good one next Monday for my guys in the building. Uh, got an appointment for my client out in Toledo today. It was with a food manufacturer. Uh, they've got about five locations nationwide, 225 end users, uh, eight servers. Uh, should be a really good meeting for my client. They're wanting to discuss cybersecurity, a couple of other managed services. Uh, also got one with a law firm out in Charlotte for my client uh, in Charlotte. Uh, they are uh, they are a 12-user law firm. They're looking for just really the whole package. So uh, it's going to be a really good appointment for them out there in Charlotte. Got one today with my DC client. Um, it was with a law firm dealing with some issues, uh, some outdated servers they were saying. Um, they have 25 users over there. We're going to go out there uh, this week, Thursday. Um, check it out. We got an appointment today for my client down in Alabama. I spoke to the facility director for a university. Um, went over a few of the projects that they have going on for next year. Got an idea on the timeline for that. I uh, kept him on the phone, kept going up through what our company does, where we're located, and he uh, found that a few of the buildings at one of their other campuses had some issues, so we'll be meeting with them on Thursday. All right, so I got two appointments today. Uh, first one was for my client out in Myrtle Beach it's with the insurance agency. Spoke with the owner, been trying to reach him for a while, uh, using a company, recently did some upgrades, but open to hearing us out for when they're out for renewal. So a little under 10 users. Um, we are meeting with him or teams next week. It should be a good one. And then just got off the phone with the executive assistant of the executive vice president that I talked to back in, oh gosh, April for my client out in Phoenix. Uh, construction company, about 45 employees. They're currently working with the company, so open to looking at other options right now. Um, spoke with the executive assistant. Like I said, I've been trying to reach her since April. So finally got her on. Um, we set up the meeting. It's about 45 uh, employees with devices, uh, one location, and I think at least one server, if not two servers on site. So we are meeting over teams here, I think, next week. So it should be a great one. So I got one for our St. George client. Uh, it's about 20 users. They use a local competitor um, that we're not sure does the, the best job, but their contract is up in August. Um, um, we have a meeting next week, or I'm sorry, this Friday on site. My owner's going out there to compare options with their president. Uh, so it should be a really good one. 20 users fully managed this right in that sweet spot. So hopefully we can close some business. That's good. Who wants to get us started? Who's got something good? I got one for the New Mexico roofer. Uh, called a property, ended up getting a hold of the property manager. They have some hail damage that they haven't resolved in a few years in one of the buildings. It's also leaking tar whenever it gets hot. So we're gonna go out and check a couple of their properties on the 24th. They also have hail damage on the office. And so I think we're looking probably around 40,000 square feet of roofs we're gonna go check out. Should be a pretty good one. It's leaking tar? Yeah, when it gets warm, it just starts leaking. I'm not a roofer, but that does not sound good. Yes. Not supposed to not sound good. All right, we got a good shot. Matt, did you have one too? Yeah, I uh, spoke to the facility director of a university yesterday for my client in Alabama. Uh, got him on the phone. He told me about a large project that they're going to have next year. Asked for a call back uh, today to go over the details of that. Got him on the phone this morning, went over that the architect says the bid process will start in February. Um, I just kept him on the phone, had a 
good conversation with him. And he goes, you know, I have some buildings with bolt holes in them. I probably should get a quote of repairs for them for now. And uh, so yeah, we'll be going out later this week. Blow poles. All right, we like that. That's bad for a roof too. Leaking tar and blow poles. All right. Who else? Who's got something good? Who else? Who else? Brendan, what's up, man? I got one from my DC client with a law firm. Uh, the CIO he said that he believes they're probably overpaying for the service, but they really haven't. Um, the server's out of date. Um, 25 users are going to go out there actually this week and uh, check it out. Anybody else? Any proposals? Proposals, yeah. Uh, uh, all around roofing got uh, two proposals for a hospital and like a building next to their hospital. The first one's 485000 and the second one I think is 425000 Yeah, Lunatech got a uh, closed deal for 820 monthly return. It's the first closed one, so uh, pretty good. Let's go. First of many. Four hundred three. Four hundred three Tech got a proposal for forty six hundred. We're on site Thursday to talk about it. Right. We've got two appointments today. This one here just got an inbound call from a church I've actually been talking to since March. So that's nice to see it turn around. Left some messages with the gatekeepers. An operations manager finally got back to me. They had some issues they've been dealing with in the past and she hasn't seen any issues been resolved. So she wants us out there on Thursday. Got one this morning for my roofer in Boston. It's an industrial bakery. Spoke with the facilities manager who oversees two locations. Told me they always got active issues going on. So we're going out there next week. Check it out. So I've got an appointment for my Southern California roofer today. Pretty good one. We've been rocking and rolling with country clubs lately. So got another one on the books. It's right down the street from our owner's house. It has a lot of background. It knows a lot of members there. So it should be a good end to the door and uh, hopefully we'll close something in the near future. So I got my second one on the month for my Indianapolis software client. I've been in contact with the CFO of a manufacturer for the past few months now. Keep catching them with bad times. But um, finally got him on the phone, had a good conversation. Uh, we got something set in the books for next month after the holidays uh, to kind of go more in depth about our software rollout and what we could do for them. So we got an awesome appointment today for one of our roofers in New Mexico. I uh, reached out to the property manager. They have some hail damage on different properties. Total, they have 68 different buildings plus the office maintenance facility. They also have hail damage. One of the properties starts leaking tar uh, when it heats up. This is one of the opportunities that our client has really been looking forward to. We're very excited. We're going to meet with them in two Tuesdays once maintenance is back on property as well. And we're looking forward to, to see what we're able to do on the insurance side and the work to come. Got one today from our client in San Diego, uh, 14 users, one server, one location, uh, looking at options, said their current guys are kind of on the bigger scale, looking for something more local too, um, so the meeting up should be a pretty good one.